Welcome to Mega Talk, the new talk show in boxing. Welcome to Mega Talk. So the big fight between Chris Eubank and Conor Ben is just round the corner. It's going to take place at the O2 Arena. Chris Eubank is expected to be about 157 pounds which is an all-time low for him. He's never fought at this weight before. This is going to be a catch weight. The story is he's never gone be below 160, but I know, and probably some of you guys know, he doesn't really carry himself very heavy um, out of contest condition. He's always in good shape. So, yeah, this says that he's going to be hard for him, but I know that he, he, he should be okay. Chris Eubank was wearing a top that says... 60%. Now, I made a short earlier on and I, I say the same statement of what I made in there. If he knows he's only 60%, why is he going in the ring? If he knows that he's not up to the job, why is he going into the ring? He claims that he only needs to be 60% to beat Conor Ben. What I suggest, he needs to watch some of the tapes of Conor Ben and then rethink what he's saying. So I think it's all mind games. It's all mind games from Chris Eubank. Um, but to be honest, for my opinion, I don't think he's having any effect at all on Conor Ben. Conor Ben knows that Chris Eubank will be 100% um, ready. If his weight drained, it's his own fault. He's the one who agreed to it. So if he's not going to be able to make that weight, it's his own fault. Ben on the other side, he's going to be coming up two weight classes. So he's never fought at this weight class before. What's interesting in this is because when it goes back down, my question is, what effect is it going to have on his weight? We all know that classic of when Roy Jones went up to heavyweight and he tried to come back down to super middleweight, uh, which is a few divisions between. He couldn't do it because a lot of his strength went when he lost the weight. So it will be interesting to see what happens when or if he comes back down to his original weight. But I think what it will do, it will show him if he does go up in the future and with age you put weight on, it will more or less probably show whether or not if he'll be able to fight at that level, at that weight. So, yes, it's interesting. They try and build this up as rivalry, but to be totally honest, there's no rivalry between these guys. The rivalry was between their fathers. And what rivalry that was. They took it to the extreme. In particular, Nigel Benn, he disliked Chris Eubank. It was clear that Nigel Benn didn't like him and it got under his skin. I don't think those tactics are working for Chris Eubank with Conor Ben. Conor Ben seems to be just taking it in his stride. He's been schooled on knowing what he's going to say before he says it. He's been schooled on what approach that Chris Eubank will come out with. And to be totally honest, it, it doesn't seem like any issue at all. Conor Ben is only 26 years old. So like this is a real big step up to the big man who's going to be fighting, who's 32. I remember when he first went professional and like, there was a talk that was saying, you never know, you guys might be fighting in the future. And I thought to myself, no chance. And they're not even close to each other's weight division. And lo and behold, look now. So this will all be taking place at the O2 Arena. This is going to be a spectacular sight. I'm excited, are you? So Chris Eubank Jr., he's a middleweight fighter, but he went up and campaigned at super middleweight at one stage because he says that he couldn't get the fights that he wanted at middleweight. He's had 32 fights with two losses and no draws. Connor is a welterweight fighter. That's two divisions lower or two weight classes lower. He's had 21 fights, no losses, and no draws. So this is going to be a really, really interesting one. 
some more facts and figures. Connor Ben is 26 years old. The ball from Britain. He's an orthodox stance fighter. He's five foot eight. Chris Eubank, as stated earlier, he's age 33. He's from England. He's an orthodox fighter and he's five foot eleven. His reach is 72 and a half inches. So this is going to be an interesting one, guys. I think that two different stages of their careers. Chris Eubank, I believe that he's had a chance to fight Triple G or Canelo, but he couldn't find a pen. Is that <gasps> what the saying was? Yes, he couldn't find a pen. People says that, he didn't really want to fight them. It was just talk. I don't know. But he didn't sign the contract even though he had it. Conor Ben, he's at the stage now where he can probably fight for a world title, his next fight. And he's in prime position, that I say. You've also got to remember that, you know, these guys didn't have much amateur experience at all. So, guys, what do you think about the situation regarding their dads? Now, Chris Eubank dad supposed to not be interested <gasps> in his son taking this fight. He hasn't taken an active role throughout this fight, which is a total opposite of what happened at the start of his career where he didn't look like he could go to a press conference and by himself or go into a fight by himself, and that's a total opposite. It's where on earth is Chris Eubank? I don't know. Whereas Nigel Benn has shown the opposite. He always took a back seat and, you know, didn't really get involved. He, he left it to the managers and to the trainers. Now he's right there. He's, he's flown over from Australia and he's, he's taking residence with his son and even training with him. Let me just say, none of these guys are scared. Don't for a second think that any of these guys are scared. They're not scared. But where I'm concerned is the weight. I'm concerned about the weight drain with Chris Eubank because he says that it might be an issue. I don't know. I'm not a professional at that. And I'm if I'm taking his judgment, it could be an issue. We don't know. We ain't going to know until the fight. And with Conor Ben, it's evident that he's going to feel a difference in power. And I understand that... You spar bigger guys. and But when you're in a real fight and you've got those eight ounce gloves on, it's a totally different thing. You feel every punch. And with that weight there, I don't know how he's going to get on. So I'm interested now to see the build-up coming up to the final week next week. You'll have your press conferences. You'll have your public workouts. I want to see what their weight is like, what their movement is like in particular. Is there going to be a problem with the weight of Chris Eubank? We're also saying, look, there could also be a problem with Ben moving up. Weight is weight. If he's putting it on, okay, he might not feel weight drain, but it could slow him down. So we'll see. It's going to be an interesting fight. Looking forward to next week because next week will reveal a lot thank you for listening you've been listening to mega talk